press the bell icon on your YouTube app and never miss any of my video. So guys, this is the Sonam Kapoor's reception makeup look and she was looking beautiful guys she was looking so glowing her face was glowing she was looking beautiful and she was so happy and yes a uh, very big congratulations to sonam and anand ahuja now mr and mrs ahuja yes so a very big congratulations from my side and yes i have just got inspired from her makeup look because she was looking beautiful so i thought of giving it a try and i got inspired from her makeup look and yes this is what i have came out with so if you want to know how i've created this look then please keep on watching So as you can see I have prepped and color correct my skin because it is all in the process so I thought of making the video short and sweet and basically focusing on Sonam's look so yes I have prepped my skin and I have color correct under my eyes around my mouth and around my nose a little bit and yes I have a boo over here because I was playing with ruffle and she hit me like this is just avoided i would be covering up with the concealer so no issues and now moving ahead for the base makeup sonam had a beautiful glowy skin that glow was like from within so i would be using my favorite nika skin genius and it has a beautiful glowy finish not glowy you know a slight luminous finish so yes i would be using this for my base makeup so as you can see it is a very sheer coverage so i would be building it up with the second layer guys and now moving ahead for the concealer yes it is very important to use a concealer guys so here i am using this maybelline fit me my holy grail concealer and i am in the shade medium so i would be basically focusing under my eyes around my mouth on the bridge of my nose and between my brows yeah the usual drill and now with the same beauty blender i would first blend around my mouth and my nose area and between my brows and then at the end i would blend this under my eyes because the more i leave them they would give me a more coverage and real quick i would be setting my concealed area with the help of a loose powder this is from adius and this works really great guys because this is also like a yellowish hint loose powder so yes this is great it might be looking a little yellow right now but trust me at the end everything would come like this so yeah trust me and now coming on to my eyebrows sonam had beautifully thick eyebrows but as you can see i have very thin and sparse eyebrows so i would have to work it out so here i'm using this angled brush and my maybelline gel eyeliner yes i would be using a gel eyeliner because they they are more thick so yeah i would be using a very little amount guys not very harsh just just barely i am having the amount on my brush and then i would be filling up my brows now i would be brushing out all over my eyebrows so that there is no excess product and now quickly i would be filling up my second eyebrow now for the eye makeup sonam had very like subtle eye makeup going on there was barely any color so yes there was a hint of color a hint of brown on the crease and a hint of gold like a very subtle gold on all over her eyelids so for that i'm using my blending brush and this miss rose professionals eye shadow and i would be using this color very lightly just barely picking it up on my brush and then i would just going on my crease and now i would be using this brown color on my outer v and on my crease
And now I would be using my Morphe Jaclyn Hill and from this I would be using this beautiful champagne pearly gold color and with the help of my ring finger I would be applying this all over my eyelids. And now with the same blending brush I would be just blending all the edges out so that there are no harsh lines. Now Sonam had a very like small wind eyeliner, a small flick so yes I would be using my Lakme eyeliner and this is a matte eyeliner so this would be great for this look. Now I would be using a kajal, this is from Lakme and this one is Lakme iconic one and I would be lining my waterline with this. So I have applied my kajal and I have just slightly just smudged it out with a smudger brush so yes this is not like a fully smudged look but yes a slight smudge look as you can see. I hope the camera is capturing and now moving ahead for my mascara. For my mascara I am using this Lakme Iconic Curling Mascara and I, I just love this mascara so... So meanwhile my mascara is driving, I mean driving. Meanwhile my mascara is drying out. So for a little bit of chiseled look because yeah I have a round face and I want to make my cheeks look hollow. So I would be using this color right here with an angled brush and removing the excess and a little bit on the jawline and that's all. And now for the blush, Sonam was having a very nice pink blush going on on her face so I would be using this beautiful rose pink color with a blush brush and I would be applying it on my cheeks so I've applied my false lashes off camera and now I would be spritzing up some setting spray so that everything goes like this so yeah and now I would be using my beauty sponge and lightly just going like this all over my face so that any excess powder or anything is there so it would be removed. So yeah that's it and now moving ahead with the highlighter. So yeah I need to apply my highlighter and for my highlighter I'm using this Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate. This is a beautiful illuminator guys believe me. This is amazing and I would be using my eyeshadow blending brush. Little bit on my cupid's bow. Ooh. And now for the lipstick, I'm using this NYB Lip Crayon and this is in the shade 06 Play of Champions, yes. And I'm using this because it is a really nice bright red sort of a shade and Sonam was having a beautiful matte red sort of a shade and this is a semi matte lip crayon so yeah I'm using this. So guys this is the finished look and yes I was not having the exact same jewelry because this is an inspired makeup look and I'm not copying or recreating her look. So yes I have just uh, got some inspiration with her makeup looks. So yes, this was uh, the inspiration from Sonam Kapoor and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and support for my channel by subscribing for my channel and also hit that bell icon below so that you can get all notified whenever I upload a new video. So yes, this was the look and I hope you loved it and I will be winding up my video over here. Bye bye. See ya.